guys, I'm Tasha, and for today's DIY, I'm going to show you some designer glitter shoes. The designer that I am inspired by is Mew Mew, I hope I said that right, but they have these super awesome glitter sneakers. They have two different versions, one with the blinged out toe and another one with kind of a steel toe with studs on it, and I love them, but they range from $500 to $600 depending on which style you get. And that is crazy, so I decided to make my own pair and share it with you guys. So let's get into that. So of course you're going to need a pair of canvas sneakers. These sneakers are by Faded Glory and they're from Walmart and they're great for DIYs because they're super inexpensive. And ah, uh, my favorite part, the glitter. I love anything super glitzy and you certainly do not need this much glitter. You only need one jar, but I'm a little bit OCD and I'm always afraid that I'm going to run out of something so that's why I have so much. You can also see that the pink glitter is way too pale. It does not match my shoes, but my store didn't have it so I have to mix it with those small small bottles of dark pink glitter that you see on the ends and I'm using super fine glitter. You can use coarse glitter but I really like the super fine because I like really small pieces of glitter. And you're also going to need Mod Podge or any other kind of decoupage that you can find. I'm using a gloss finish. You need a plastic bowl, some tape to tape your shoes, paint brushes, really strong glue like E6000 or Gorilla Epoxy will work. And this is optional but you can use clear acrylic sealer at the end to gloss over your shoes. You will also need your embellishments, so I have these rhinestones that I picked up from Etsy, kind of a rectangular shape and then also a teardrop shape. And then for my other pair of shoes, you need studs in different sizes. These are actually scrapbooking stickers that I got at Michael's. So here we go making our glitter glue. Just dump a bunch of glitter into your bowl. Don't use too much. I know it looks like I'm using a shitload here, but really it's not that much. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Mod Podge and pour about half of it, like half glitter, half Mod Podge, if that makes sense to you. One part glitter, one part Mod Podge. Um, and then I'm gonna mix it all together and see if I need to adjust it by adding more glitter or more Mod Podge to the mix. You can always add two, so don't make too much at first because you really don't need that much of your glitter mixture. So you can see here I have it in there and I'm just going to take my paintbrush and mix it all together. You want your mixture to be kind of in the middle, not too thin, not too thick, just a really nice consistency and you'll be good to go on that. So take your shoe and you can see that I've taped off the toe area and also the bottom and just start painting away, just go to town on that shoe. And you wanna do thin layers, you don't want it to be really clumpy and thick and I'm sorry about all the rays of light but it's super glittery and that's just how it filmed. And for the areas around the grommets where the shoelaces go, take a smaller paintbrush and paint those areas because the thicker paintbrush is absolutely not gonna get in there and you just don't wanna get glitter all over those. So you can do like two to three coats, as many as you need to make it opaque and have less shoe space still showing. I did three coats on mine and that seemed to work great for me, but it's just all up to personal preference. And all you have to do is wait about 15 to 20 minutes in between each coat. You want to let it dry just like nail polish. So once the glitter is completely dried, it's time to work on our toe embellishments. So for my pink shoe, I'm choosing this shoe to be the blinged out toe version. So I'm taking the large rhinestone and just placing it in the center and then I'm going off of that with the teardrop shaped rhinestones and just going off of that design and I'm just filling it in until I cannot fit any more of the teardrop shapes and then any part that has empty spaces I'm going to fill in with some small circular rhinestones. I didn't show you guys those in the beginning but that is what I have. I had them from a leftover project, so that's what I'm using to fill in any gaps, and I'm just going to continue this until I am satisfied with how my toe looks, and I'm using a tiny bottle of E6000 glue to put down my rhinestones. And for my silver shoes, to make the toe kind of look like a steel toe, like the Mew Mew shoes, I took some China Glaze silver nail polish and I just painted a few coats over it. And it just kind of looks cool, kind of looks like the whole faux steel toe thing. And of course, I'm using my scrapbooking faux studs to do this shoe. So I'm doing three rows on my toe. I'm doing five of the large um, faux stud stickers going across. And then the next two rows are going to be the smaller faux stud scrapbooking stickers. And the Mew Mew shoes, they had a lot more studs and they also gradually went down in size. But I only bought one pack of these stickers and I didn't have enough to do both shoes if I wanted to put more. So that's how I'm doing them this way. And it worked out fine, but it's up to you if you want to do more or less. 
And I also want to let you guys know that after my glitter dried, I went ahead and sprayed both pairs of, both pairs of shoes with the clear acrylic sealer just because I wanted to make them extra glossy and just bam in your face, but that is totally optional. You don't have to do that, but it was my personal choice. So here's what my pink pair of shoes looks like. I think they are so awesome, and you know that I use the super pale glitter pink, but it ended up looking fine, and I'm sorry about all the rays of light. It was just really hard to capture this, but these shoes, I mean, ugh, I just think they're so rad. I love them so much. I'm going to be wearing them all the time, and I'm just really glad I made them because I think they look super cool. I don't know. I just really love this project, and it's one of the projects that I'm super happy with, so I'm really enjoying these. And here is my silver pair of shoes. I love it because it actually kind of looks like I've got a faux steel toe thing going on and if you want the full Mew Mew effect you would dye these laces gray to match the shoes and I was going to do that but when my boyfriend and I went to Walmart they didn't have any gray or black dye so I couldn't do that and I didn't feel like buying another pair of laces when these are perfectly fine so it's totally up to you if you want to change the laces and make them match but that's what I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Say hi, chat with me, let me know if you're gonna do this project or if you've already done something similar to this, I would love to know. And I just thought this project was cool because even though I am super obsessed with the Mew Mew sneakers, I have more important things to spend $500 to $600 on than sneakers. And I mean, I love the ones that I made. I think that they are really rad and you know, they'll fill the little space in my heart that the Mew Mew sneakers are not filling because I do I not don't think it. I forgot about the giveaway. I have the giveaway winner for this Daily Look bracelet. First of all, I want to thank everyone who entered the Daily Look giveaway. I had a lot of fun reading all of your comments on what you're going to do during summer. And some of you guys, well really all of you guys, have a great summer planned out. So I hope you enjoy that to the fullest potential that you can. And the winner of this bracelet will be shown at the bottom of the screen right now. Congratulations to you. Send me a personal message with your address and I will ship this bracelet out to you ASAP so congratulations once again. Enjoy your summer because it's summer now officially summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I love you so much. Bye.